This is going to be a review of the, how do you pronounce this, Hertzko? Hertzko pet combs for dogs, cats, maybe even for horses. I don't know if you, you comb a horse. So there's two different sizes that come in the package. And why did I buy it? I've got a much longer comb than this. It's really long. Uh, somebody gave me my, in fact, my groomer gave it to me. And it's just really awkward to use because it's so long. It is way too long. So this is about the, the width of my hand. It should be a lot easier to use. Very effective comb, the long one, but it's just too hard to maneuver and the dog is not thrilled with uh, me fidgeting around. So I'm going to test this thing out now. Let's look at the back of this. If this video helps you, please do thumbs up, a subscribe, or a like. If there's a product you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I will do a review. And if you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. So let's check this thing out now, test it out, and see how it works on the dog. I'm going to test out both of them. Here we go. I'm just going to try out the small one right now. I just used a, a different brand comb on here and you can see how she smoothed out a lot and she's kind of tangled in over here. So you want to get them used to it. Let them taste it. Let them smell it. Let them get comfortable with the comb. Because like I just said in my other review, combs, they do an incredible job. But boy, they really pull on the hair and you've got to go slowly. If they've got long hair like this, you have to go slow because it's going to hurt them if you don't. They, they won't have that problem as much with a brush unless the brush is really digging into the coat. And that's what this comb is all about. So you've got wide spaces where it's going to be knotted up and then if you want to, you can go to the narrower uh, tines. I think they're called tines. So this is all smoothed out a little bit where I fluffed her up with the other comb. But let's see how this works. The advantage of this is it's got real wide gaps between each of these so it makes it much easier it doesn't hurt them as much look at that beautiful you can see how it's catching in the in the in the uh, fur wow look at that see you can see it's bringing stuff up you can see it's catching in the fur but once you break through all the tangling see right over there once you push it and they don't like it they just don't like it because it kind of hurts but once you break through, now leave the hair, don't eat the hair. Once you break through, then you can use the narrow part over here. And, oh, that's the way it's supposed to be now. And I like using the brush because it is so much easier, but you will never make it look as good as if you use a comb like this. So she's had enough for now. Don't force it with the dog. They, they need time to get used to this. But, and she's kind of cranky this morning, cranky pants. But, yeah, I totally recommend this. I wish that I could have used the larger one on her, but she just walked away. Let me see if I can use the larger one on her. Um, it's about the same spacing, but let's try the larger one. And either way, I'm going to say right now, these combs make the dog look incredible. And if you have lots of tangles or knots, maybe wet them down a little bit it makes it a little easier but if they if they hurt if they pull away then stop cut out the knot cut out the tangle cut out the matting um and uh just use this to make them look really nice and, gro and groom them the best you can but you don't want to hurt them ever here we go she's a little bit worried because she knows what's coming but there we go this is the other side of her and you just want to go, I'm using the wide side right now, you want to go slow and you want to break up the tangles. Don't go really fast. You can see where it, there's some resistance over here, it's pulling. And if I was going fast, that would dig and that would pull and it would hurt her. Like I just did over there, that it's tangled but she's allowing this. Now that I've finished with the wide piece, the wide side, now I can go with the narrow and I can get in there. It's still very knotted over there, so I grab the fur so it doesn't hurt her and I comb to break up the tangles. She's gonna be getting groomed in a couple days, so I'm gonna stop right now, but it's a really good comb. This is the way to go. When I saw my groomer use this comb, I thought, I need to buy one of these. And she gave me a large one, and I like the smaller ones. They are much easier to use. Good luck.